you never know who may need the help. Endless amount of options. Anyone can do it, literally, which means more money. <laughs> Good morning everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Manda and I create lifestyle, college, entrepreneurship and some pop culture content on this YouTube channel. And I hope you guys stick around, join the fam, join the squad, we would love to have you here. As you can see by today's video, I am doing a little video on some side hustles that y'all can do or that we can do in 2022 to make some extra money on the side. And I've done a video like this before and I think people enjoyed it so I thought why not do it again. So I came up with a list of 15 different side hustles that you would and myself or anyone can do in 2022 and I guess we'll just jump right into the video. The first one we got is editing for someone whether it be for podcasting, for YouTube editing, I don't know if they have a blog, if you edit for their blog, like anything like that, that can make you tons of money. Especially for bigger YouTubers, for bigger podcasters and stuff, they don't have all the time on their hands. So they need someone to help them out. If you watch certain YouTubers that you enjoy and you think that you would be able to help them out with editing, just like shoot them a message, shoot them a DM. Same for podcasting. If you listen to a podcast and you're like, hey, like, I would love to help you guys edit your audio. Like, shoot them a message, shoot them a DM. Like, you never know what can happen in shooting your shot perfectly fine. I actually work with one YouTuber that I used to watch, like, religiously. Now I edit some videos for her so it's like really like full circle moments and at the end of the day like you never know who may need the help and someone may be looking and you shoot them a message and they're like wow like this person is confident this person wants to help out this person seems like they have a good resume a good portfolio so let's try it out so you never know so that is like the first side hustle I would have is for editing for people on YouTube podcasting blogging whatever it may be I forgot but I need to make a coffee because we we need a coffee this early in the morning so making my coffee and we'll jump right back into that coffee literally fuels every ounce of energy i have in my body we just we love her we love her anyways my machine sounds really loud i don't know if it's that loud on camera but we are making a coffee okay so we got our beautiful coffee here and i'm just gonna is it too zoomed in we're just going to dive into some more things so the next one on the list i have social media managing so a lot of people always talk about social media managing but i feel like people don't really like know what it is or what the scopes are or like how much work really goes into it and all that jazz so let's talk about it so as a social media manager, you are in charge of everything that goes into your client's profile. For myself, I have more expertise or like my strong point is for Instagram social media managing. So that's like how I'm going to talk about it a little more. You're in charge of basically everything that has to do with their Instagram. So I wrote down some things you can do as a social media manager. So some things that you can offer your clients are creating social media images. So if they don't supply you with like images that they've done at a photo shoot or anything like that, you can either replicate photos for them if they send you the product, if it is a product, if not, you can make some graphics for them. I use Canva a lot. Canva is like my number one, like my go-to, my ride or die. So you can, yeah make graphics for them to post then you can actually craft the posts and curate the content make up the captions that have to go around with it see what picture should go before which picture to kind of like curate a feed i know not every feed needs to be this aesthetic like looking feed but like something that makes sense you know and then also scheduling out content so you can either be someone that is like okay i'm gonna post at 11 so i'm just gonna go on my phone at 11 and post it you could do that or you can use an actual app that will schedule out the content for you sometimes if people are managing like four or five accounts at the same time it's just easier to have everything scheduled out instead of trying to like balance everything and like oh like i'm gonna post these two at this time and this what like whatever scheduling out content can be a very big lifesaver there's also responding to comments interacting in the dms interacting in the comment section i think engagement and interacting with the audience of the brand or of the product or whatever it may be is super important because it kind of eliminates that like business standpoint and it kind of makes it more more what is the word more relatable or more personable that's the word personable so i would suggest doing that and then you can also you can manage groups or subscriptions so there's a lot of things that go into being a social media manager they pay well and a lot of people like you don't need a degree to be a social media manager yes you could do certificates you could do courses and stuff but a lot of it is a lot of it is like learn as you go type of things like i taught myself everything i needed to know about social media managing so if i could do it you could do it so that's the next one and then after that i have something very simple like selling your old clothes selling your used clothes selling clothes that you don't wear anymore so you can sell your clothes on depop on poshmark on there's something called mercury you can even sell it on facebook marketplace on instagram like there's endless amount of options and if you're like me i have a whole closet full of clothes that i basically don't wear because either they're out of style and i'm just like i don't like it anymore 
or, you know, our weights are not the same every year. So some things don't fit like I want it to fit anymore. There's an endless amount of reasons why like someone doesn't wear something anymore. So if you're not wearing it, if it's taking up room in your closet, why not try and sell it? Make a little extra money off of it. No harm in that. Another one is to be an online proofreader. So this is something that I would do terribly at, but whoever is very good at English, very good at reading, writing, this like this is for you. So I wrote down some notes on the ones that I don't really know much about, but this is an online type of side hustle so this is something that you would do like from your home from an office from a co-working space like whatever it may be and this is for people who like to edit like i said i hate editing re like i hate editing writing stuff i love editing content all that but writing no thank you on to the next like not my thing so basically what this is is people will either if they're publishing a book or if they're i don't know writing a thesis or i don't really know what people need editors for for writing because i don't write but a lot of people need proofreaders. A lot of people need people to read their work a second, third time. Like a lot of people need that, especially for books, because there's been books that I've read and there's like one or two typos, which like obviously it's in an end of the world and like whatever, like they sold so many copies, but that's what a proofreader is there for, for typos, for grammar stuff, for if it's missing a comma, like things like that, that's what the proofreader is there for. So if you're into like nitpicking and like looking for those type of errors in a paper or like writing form, this is for you. Like most proofreading jobs don't require any sort of degree so you can literally just do it without a degree and do it on your free time. Not all of these are like you can just get it on the go, like some of them do require you to have prior experience with editing other things. Those are usually for like the bigger contracts, the bigger books and things like that. They want someone who's already done it. But yeah, if you're into reading, writing and like editing out certain things, this side hustle is for you. Back to my little random corner. <laughs> Um, let's continue. So the next one I have is being a virtual assistant. This is something that actually blew up during quarantine or at least like for me I saw it like every single space I could see on TikTok like everywhere. It was like be a virtual assistant. This is how much virtual assistants make. This is how you become a virtual assistant. Like that is like what my TikTok for you page was. Maybe it was just because I was interested in it but my TikTok like literally curated virtual assistant content for me. What is a virtual assistant? You can work as an assistant online and earn up to $25 an hour which is actually beautiful. Beautiful. And like for virtual assistants, you can actually have like one, two, three, four clients. I would say four is the max for like full time work. Honestly, you could have a couple of clients based on your availability, which means more money. For each client, you usually would work about three to four hours a day. Like this is not like an eight hour shift for one client. This is like two, three, four hours, depending how much work they give you and how many things they have to get done. So being a virtual assistant is not the same for each client. It kind of changes for each client based on their needs, their wants, what they have to get done, if they do emailing, if they run a business like whatever it may be it changes per client so if you're in if you're like someone who like is into like a job that changes every day and like kind of go with the flow type of thing virtual assistant is definitely for you so i wrote down some examples of services you can offer as a virtual assistant so there's answering emails social media management which like goes with the top one data entry scheduling appointments graphic design writing newsletters creating content so it's the whole scope so like you are basically the assistant to a company owner but it's online only so you can literally work with anyone they could be I could be in Montreal right now where I live and work with someone in the States, like in LA, in New York, in Atlanta, in Nashville. Like those were literally the most random places. Nashville, like I've never had a urge to go there but like what I'm saying is you can work with anyone and everyone as a virtual assistant because it's all online so that's super cool. So if you have a brand that you're interested in working with and they live kind of far from you, this is a perfect opportunity to be a virtual assistant for them because you don't need to be near them. You don't need to be in the same area as them. You don't need to be in the same city, country, whatever it may be. So virtual assisting is super cool and I haven't done it yet, but I'm very interested in it. Another one is to launch an online store or an Etsy shop. So if you're someone who's crafty, who is creative, who likes to create things with their hands this is for you like i know a lot of people i used i have an etsy shop actually for candle making i have not updated it in a minute because school has been taking over my life quite literally but it's almost done so now i'll have more time for my things but i have an etsy shop on candles i know a lot of people have etsy shops on jewelry on literally press on nails these are not press on nails but press on nails um some people make coffee mugs some people make shirts some people make starbucks reusable cups some people make 
I don't know, custom notebooks. Um, some people, literally the options are endless. Like some people make play trays. Like literally you want something, go type it on Etsy. It will pop up. I'm not even kidding. So if you're crafty, if you're into that and you want to sell some of your things, I would suggest having an Etsy shop and they kind of do everything for you. So all you really have to do is make the product that you're selling and ship it out. That's it. Everything else like is kind of just done for you. And it's a very easy platform to learn. So if you're not very into the technology aspect of it, Etsy, amazing amazing choice next on that list we got tutoring so you can literally tutor in any single subject you want there's always going to be someone that needs a little extra help in said subject whether it be in school whether it be outside of school whatever it may be like there's always people that need help you can even tutor people in sewing in creating clothes and creating a I don't know, pottery, like anything like that. But then you can also gear towards tutoring for math, science, history, English, French. What else is there? I don't remember the other topics there are in like elementary and high school and stuff, but you can tutor for literally anything. And what's great about this day and age is you can actually tutor via Zoom or an online platform like that. So you don't actually have to meet up with the person. It can be very convenient for both of you guys. So that is something that I would suggest doing. The next one is something that is has been around for quite some time but it's dog walking or pet sitting there's an app i don't know what it's called but it's an app to find people to walk their dogs um to get paid for it so dog walking is something that can actually be really fun if you're if you like dogs and if you're into dogs it'd be really fun for you to just have some time to play with dogs and you also are getting like exercise in when you're walking so why not why wouldn't you want to do it um and there's also pet sitting so if people are going out of town or anything like that and they need someone to watch their pet whether it be a dog a cat a rabbit i don't know can do that so that's something that a lot of people have been partaking in as a side hustle and i mean it's fun i mean if you like dogs go for it go walk someone's dog and make money like why not so next we also have content creation so basically what i'm doing right now i can do instagram blogging and make content for brands and get paid through sponsorships i can make youtube videos and get paid through adsense or also sponsorships it's not as easy as it seems like you don't just post a video and you start getting paid like that's literally not it you have to have the passion motivation or anything but if you were interested in starting a youtube channel and you're like this is going to be my side hustle do it like do it period point blank do it it's been so much fun and i've met so many amazing people and I mean, after doing it for a few years, I started making money on it and the money can be good depending on like AdSense, honestly, I don't think is the best thing, but like sponsorships and stuff can make you a lot of good money. Do with that what you will. But I think that is a really fun side hustle and you can make a lot of friends doing it. So make friends, have fun with it, be creative, make money. Why wouldn't you want to do it? The next one I have is to create an online course. So if you are someone who is very good at growing social media, is very good at editing, graphic design, whatever it may be, like you can create an online course for it and sell it and that is kind of like passive income because if you just record it and edit it and then post it up and then people can buy it like for 20 30 40 50 dollars however you want to price it because you know your own worth that will be passive income because people can literally buy it in a month from now in two months in six months in a year and you will still be making money off that same course and some creators have made like literally thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars off courses that they've created online for people like you and me so my hand is shaking so i would highly suggest looking into creating a course if you are experienced in any aspect and think that you have something to offer people i also wrote that an online course is a really good way to educate people on a particular topic a lot of people who have blogs actually sell a lot of courses but you can sell them on different platforms like there's actual platforms made to sell courses so that is something i would highly suggest also another thing we got is to write resumes so resumes cvs things like that so you can help people update their resumes because a lot of people don't know how to update them or they just don't update them as frequently as they should especially if they're in the job like search market and like they're looking actively looking for a job like some people need to update them a lot more recent than they should this doesn't require any education requirements certifications anything like that and Anyone can do it literally um, and people charge upwards to $20 an hour to edit people's CVs and help them kind of get it in top shape so if you're into that be my guest do it honestly all you really need to know is like simple formatting grammar and how to make a CV resume stand out and then you're good to go we also got selling photos to stock photography sites so if you're a photographer if you're really good at creating photos and things like that you can actually sell your work on these like stock market sites or stock photography sites and you can make upwards to 25 cents to 45 cents per photo and it doesn't sound like that much but honestly if you sell i think like four or five photos that's already one dollar and like i said if your work is really good a lot of people are going to want it and a lot of people use it for things like in their 
product or I don't know on their website things like that so if your photo really stands out and it's like kind of niche I think you'll do really well like if you like post I don't know the New York Brooklyn Bridge like a lot of people will want that for a stock photo but if you post something like in a random ass town maybe people won't want it as much so if you kind of figure out what people want and niche down I think you will do really well on this we also got affiliate marketing so this is something that I really need to like hop on and like get the ball rolling for because there's so much money that you can make through this but I just I get lazy and I haven't had the time to like set up these profiles and stuff that I want to set up but affiliate marketing can make you a lot of money and it's very passive and it's very easy to do so you can partner with companies that you absolutely love and get like these commission links so each time someone there's different types so like there's some that like each time someone clicks on it you'll get like five cents or there's like if someone buys something with it you'll get 20 percent commission like things like that and especially if you are someone who a lot of people ask like, oh, where'd you get that? Where'd you get this? Like having affiliate links will help you so much because like you can literally make money from people, other people shopping. It's really simple. You don't even have to do anything. You just have a link and they click it and then you get money. So why wouldn't you want to do it? I really, me saying that is if I actually have affiliate links. I think I have two. I need to get on it. I need to jump on the bandwagon. And some of my friends have made really good money with affiliate marketing. So I need to get I need to get on it. I need to get on it. And also like with affiliate marketing, usually like with commission links, like you give the person that's buying like five, ten percent off. So you're helping people save money and you're making money. Best of both worlds. Another one I have is to narrate audiobooks. So in this day and age, a lot of people read audiobooks, kind of like podcasting, but I hate reading audiobooks. Like I absolutely hate it. I hate, I don't know. I need to read an actual book, like a physical, like tangible book. I need to like read those. So I'm not a very big audiobook gal, but a lot of people are. So you can actually narrate audiobooks. If you have a very clear voice, if you're able to read really efficiently and not stumble upon your words, if you like hearing your own voice, like I don't know, um, but this would be very, very good for you. And as more and more people start publishing audiobooks along with their like physical books, a lot more audio like narrators are needed. So this is very good. Even if you're a voice actor, like maybe if you're not getting as much jobs in voice acting to kind of go into audiobooks, like you never know. And honestly, if you can soundproof any room in your house, you're good to go, you're ready. So I looked online to see pricing. New narrators can earn $9 per hour of words recorded. Um, but also as you gain experience, you can charge anywhere between 200 to 1,300 for an hour of talking, which is absolutely insane. Like that is so much money in like such a short chunk of time. So if you like your voice enough to dive into this work, highly stressed. Like I stumble my words too much when I'm reading. So I'd be very bad at this job. But if you are good at that, I would highly stress doing that. And the last one is translation services. So if you are someone who is bilingual, who knows two, three, four languages, this one's for you. Um, I know French and English, but not to the extent where I'd be able to do this job well. But you can either translate conversations, documents, contracts, whatever it may be for people because everyone needs this. And this is something that has been going on for so long and something that like won't really die down in my opinion like people are always going to need translators this is a really good side hustle that will have longevity to it and then I searched up it says that this side hustle can earn you an average of $30 an hour and most work can actually be done at home unless it's like a in real life conversation that you need to be there to translate for everything else can be done online so that is great but anyways and that is the 15 side hustles that I had for 2022 for you guys I already partake in some of them and it's going well so I would love to know any side hustles that you guys are either partaking in or if you have any suggestions for other people that may be reading the comments on different side hustles they can do or whatever it may be leave a comment down below I would love to hear it so thank you guys so much for watching the video I really do hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to me below and I will see you next time. Bye guys!